To other news now, and for the second time in just over a week, severe storms have pummeled southeast Queensland. They swept across the region this afternoon with large hail and 140 kilometre an hour winds causing extensive property damage. Louisa Rebgetz reports. The storm ripped through Brisbane. Hail as big as golf balls smashed parts of the city. Trees were brought down in gale force winds. People caught off guard had to run for cover. It came in a flash. Um, it was immediate. I wasn't expecting it to happen at least this severe. It was intense. It was scary. There was windows breaking and it's gone through. There's holes in the walls. It's just, it was intense. About 85,000 homes and businesses lost power. These cars went under in Bowen Hills as floodwaters kept rising. Buildings through the CBD were also hit. Planes at Archerfield were flipped over. Commuters keen to get home to safety were left stranded. Peak hour rail services were suspended. Stunned, people emerged from their homes to survey the damage. I was actually at, at Carindale um, at the time and my boy, my 13 year old boy was, uh, was home. But the roof fell off and then all uh, the lights were punched out so all the rain started coming down, everything's completely wet upstairs. Residents couldn't believe the storm came so fast and caused so much destruction. Uh, the windows are gone. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty scary actually, it was very scary. People rang for help but lines were overloaded. Because I try and tried ringing the, the state emergency service, there was no answer. Uh, they told me that the uh, system was down and they couldn't get through the calls. And how long have you lived here? Say 50 years. 68. Wow. 67, 68. Mm. Never. <laughs> Today, big, big storm. Amongst the chaos, locals stepped up to warn people of possible danger. Many across southeast Queensland face a bleak night. Louisa Rebgetz, ABC News. And reporter Josh Bavis joins us now from Southbank. Josh, you witnessed the storm. Can you describe its intensity? Well, Karina, here at Southbank, everything was nice and sunny one minute, and the next it came over very dark and very fierce. I imagine it was uh, similar scenes in the CBD. Here we lost power, then we felt the whole building shaking as that hail, large hail, was tumbling down. People out on the streets, pedestrians and cyclists, uh, ran inside for cover. At the cinema down the street, uh, the movies cut out and everyone tumbled out into the foyer to see um, awnings and sails coming off the buildings. It's been a very intense storm, and of course, a lot of clean up ahead. So Josh, how many calls are the SES dealing with? Well, as we go to air tonight, there's been an emergency crews called to an eight-storey building down at Tawong or St Lucia. Apparently, there's a, a roof that has caved in on the top floor. There have been more than 700 calls for help since the storm, and that number is rising quickly. Tonight, uh, trains and buses are still stranded in the CBD. Over at the southeast freeway, it's still bumper to bumper. Many people are just trying to walk to the nearest public transport that they can. A lot of people looking very stunned around the city as they look at some of the damage. Okay, Josh Bavis in South Bank looks like a long night ahead for many people.